In this video, I'm going to show you how to add 3D transform controls to your P5.js WebGL sketch. So if you have a WebGL scene in P5.js, like this one, I just have a simple scene with Suzanne, the Blender model, and a um, plane, checkerboard plane. And let's say we want to add transform controls um, similar to what they have in 3.js so we can move things around within our scene. So to do that, we're gonna use this library. So we're gonna grab this CDN link, and then you're gonna add that to your index.html. So you'll see that the, um, the actual P5 library is being added from a CDN link as well. So we're just gonna add this, and this will give us a P5 gizmo if you want to look at the code for this, you can copy this and then just see the entire thing pretty much. Um, but yeah, that's like a look under the hood if you're interested. If not, that's fine. And then you also need math.js because this uses some math.js functions. So the um, uppercase math is like built into JavaScript, I believe, and then lowercase is using the, this uh, math.js library. So copy this script tag and add it as well. Add that in there. And then, okay, so now we have P5 Gizmo and math.js. So that's all set. We'll just save that and then come over here. Okay. So we have this scene. We want to add a gizmo. So to do that, it kind of tells you what to do here, but you can, in setup, in setup you're going to want to add a camera and G new gizmo. So you do this. You go, oh, we already have a camera, so that's good. Cam equals create camera, G equals new gizmo, and we'll just have it start at the origin. All right, and then G dot show will show the gizmo. Put this towards the end of the draw loop. And then we also want to do this. So we can actually click the gizmo. All right, and now it's working. Um, whoa! So you're gonna get some weird results if you don't also do this. So you're gonna want to uh, disable orbit control when the gizmo is clicked. So go ahead and paste that in, and then this will work well. So now you have the ability to click and drag this gizmo around um, so you can drag the entire gizmo or you can drag along a specific axis or a specific uh, plane so here I'm moving along the X I don't know <laughs> uh, the Z Y plane sorry it's very late at night I'm tired um, all right so Okay, so yeah, so now we want to, let's say we want to pair um, Suzanne, the monkey model here, to our gizmo. So we want this gizmo to control the position of Suzanne. So when we do this, in preload, we're loading the model. So I just have the model in here and the checkerboard pattern image. Those are the only things that I've added to this so far. So we have Suzanne the model and that is an object so you could do this you go Suzanne dot and then position equals we should first make sure that we're not overwriting a property um, called position so just to make sure we could console log this and just look at the properties okay so vertices here are all the properties. So I think we're safe to 
add position because it doesn't have one. So we can say Suzanne dot position equals and we'll just do x zero y zero z zero. Okay, and then each time we'll just update Suzanne's position. So we'll say Suzanne.position equals, and then G, the gizmo, has a position property as well. So we'll just say Suzanne position equals the gizmo's position. And then we will translate by Suzanne.position.x, Suzanne.position, whoops. Suzanne.position.y and Suzanne.position.z. All right, so now, yes. So now we can move things around and stage this position. Stage things in our scene, potentially. So you could do this. Um, you could add another gizmo. You say, G2 equals new gizmo, we'll do it at like 10, 50, 100. Um, you would need to add that in here as well. So G2 and G2 released and then G2 show. I think that would be it. Oh, you'd probably want to add this in here too. And you'd have to say and. So maybe it's just a little bit clunky. Um, full disclosure, I made this library, which is why I'm making this video. Um, so if you have suggestions for improvements, let me know. But um, yeah, so you could add another one um, and this could potentially like control the position of the plane. You know, we could say this plane. So we could just like translate. I won't create another object. I'll just translate by g dot g two dot position dot x g two dot position dot y g two dot position dot z each time and that will, whoops, sorry, x. Oh, I should put that before the rotation. I'm rotating the plane 90 degrees. Okay, there we go, so that looks good. Yeah, so now we could stage, move around the checkerboard and move around the Suzanne model. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. I hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions or suggestions for this, I would love to hear that. So let me know if something's on your mind. Thanks for watching.